Samurai Showdown Season 2 is about to start and we already know three characters that will be coming to the game thanks to the awesome teaser trailer which confirmed that Mina will be the first DLC for this year followed by Sogetsu Kazama and then the fan favorite and highly requested Iroha. A fourth DLC was also teased but not confirmed although we have our suspicion that it is indeed Cham Cham. So check out the frame by frame analysis of season 2 trailer to know why we think so. Link is in the description below. Now with that out of the way I would like to present you Neo Geo Now's top 5 DLC characters we would like Samurai Showdown to get during this season following the 3 confirmed warriors. Now we still don't know how many DLC characters this season will have but we are willing to bet that it will be more than 4. Also, the following choices are in no particular order. Now without further ado, let's get started. Genan This is a no-brainer. Genan is now the only character from the original Samurai Showdown that is not in the new reboot, which I'm pretty sure is literally a crime in many countries. And every time there is an announcement about a new DLC character, Genan fans will hope it is the green monster but then get disappointed again. It's a Genan is a demon from the Makai, a hellish world from the Japanese folklore, who uses a metal claw hand to fight. He's a quick, deadly, and can be annoying little bastard that we would love to see make a return. Genan was playable only in three games of the franchise, which are Samurai Showdown, Samurai Showdown 2, and 6, and he is definitely long overdue for a return. Nainhalt Seeger Another fan favorite character that fans have been clamoring for. Seeger is one badass knight from Prussia who lives to serve his king. He uses a giant mechanical arm to take down his enemies and can use it as a gun-like weapon. Seeger only has one canonical appearance and that was back in Samurai Showdown 2. He did make a return like everyone else in Samurai Showdown 6. In terms of story, it was said that he was killed during the events of Samurai Shodan 2 while battling Mizuki, as revealed in the awesome and must be re released Samurai Shodan RPG. But the new Samurai Shodan reboot is a prequel, and therefore, Seeger making a return will pose no problem. It is also worth mentioning that Seeger is the game producer Nobuyuki Koroki's favorite character, thus, the muscular Prussian warrior definitely has some chances of making a comeback. Morozumi Taizan I really cannot count how many times I included Morozumi in my Samurai Showdown wishlist. This very obscure character made his debut in Samurai Showdown 64 on the Hyper Neo Geo 64 and he's one of the more unique and original characters of the entire franchise. Morozumi is a monk who took a vow of peace but had to go back to violence after his wife and son were brutally murdered by the Makai demon Yuga. Morozumi uses a giant brush that turns into a spear. Using the ink and brush, Morozumi would write incantations in kanji in the air that magically turns into fire or electricity attacks. Both his style and ink effects would look stunning in the new engine. Morozumi made his 2D debut in the Neo Geo Pocket Color Samurai Showdown 2 which will be available on the Nintendo Switch very soon. Nicotine Caffeine Nicotine not only has one of the coolest and most memorable names in fighting games, but he is also quite a unique character within the Samurai Showdown world. Even though with a very small body size, Nicotine is the master and teacher of both Haomaru and Genjuro, two of the franchise's strongest characters. He fights using a staff as well as magic, shooting fire and electricity to whoever decides to take on him. Fun fact. Nicotine almost made it to the new game as both a design for him and model was created but he was removed at the last minute to make way for Shiki's return. With the work on his character mostly done, it would be a shame if Nicotine does not make it as a DLC character for Samurai Showdown Season 2. Zankuro Zankuro Minazuki, nicknamed the Demon. The original Samurai Showdown 3 boss is a beast of a warrior who got his nickname from slaughtering everyone that crosses his path and burning down villages after killing every man, woman and child. He managed to destroy the lives of many famous warriors like Shizumaru. His hulking figure, giant sword and cold-blooded personality will make for an awesome character for Samurai Showdown Season 2 DLC. Story-wise, it would also make sense to have him during this era as the game is set during the time he was ravaging villages left and right. 
Zankuro was playable in many Samurai Showdown games following his debut as a boss in Samurai Showdown 3. Noteworthy character, Amakusa. Now, I almost included Amakusa in this list, in fact I even had him in a first draft but decided to remove him and here's why. Amakusa Shiro Tokisada is the ultimate boss of Samurai Showdown. This resurrected character has also one of the best backstories of the game and one that is based on real historical events. And if you want to know more of his tragic story then don't forget to check the Bushido Tales episode 1 where I go in details about this awesome character. So why did I decide to remove him from this list? Very simply because of how important Amakusa is to the story and how he was teased at the end of this game. I believe Amakusa should be left for the sequel as a proper playable and boss character and one with a great story to explore. So what do you think guys about this list? Let me know if I missed a character that you want to see return in Samurai Showdown Season 2. Now I hope you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time, thank you for watching.